what's been most encouraging is seeing uh, the progression, the sophistication, the widespread acceptance of this virtual music making technology that allows me to share my performances with artists all over the world, to share my sounds, to share my my rhythms, my grooves, and, and then as, a, as an end user, I can access other people's sounds and grooves as well. We don't need to be in the same country, the same state, the same home. Um, I've done quite a bit of recording acoustically for other artists, but now I can give them performances that are exactly perfect what I'd like them to be by utilizing the sounds I recorded in my studio by way of BFD2. And, and so uh, that's the exciting thing about this NAMM show, is just to see how this is this is a normal part of music. It's not your not your uncles or your fathers or your granddad's music world anymore. We did a uh, we did an experiment, a little video side by side. One of the sessions where we were recording all of the drum and cymbal sounds, which I played myself, uh, we recorded a solo drum set performance. And I was keeping in mind that I would uh, be adding a second drum set performance to this improvised tune. The second drum set performance took place three months later, so I was playing on a Roland V drum kit using the same sounds of the, of the acoustic kit that we recorded few months prior. That's not too confusing. So, split screen, the two drum sets are side by side. One's electronic, one is the real deal. They sound identical. They sound the same. They respond the same. It's amazing. I mean, it's a miracle. It, it, it's, a, it's a living time capsule of like my best drum and cymbal sounds that I can now access and anyone else can access. Whether you're a drummer who wants to play them by triggering them as a drummer would, or you're a keyboard player, a composer, um, and we're also with the grooves, then you don't even have to make those beats. You can use those as a starting point. Um, it's very exciting, and and I was happy that you know I could build uh, on, on my years of experience. Uh, uh, a lot of people might not know that, that about 90% of the sounds in the uh, the Oberheim DMX, those are me. One of my drum sets. Uh, I've done a lot of recording work, of course, and, and uh, there's a product called Sampleheads Living Drums, by a few years ago, that became very popular. Uh, in, in great part because I concentrated on this, the, the types of beats and grooves that other guys weren't doing. Brush playing, stuff that's, a, that's very tricky to render without someone actually doing it. Certain jazz beats, uh, it's a spacing between the notes that's unique to players who have done this kind of thing all their lives. Um, and then what made it possible, of course, was that John Emmerich was putting it all together. With John Emmerich at the helm, recording everything, we played back, we went, that sounds exactly like it sounds. And John is, is, is became, it was already familiar, but he became intimately familiar with my playing style, my phrasing, my idiosyncrasies, and editing together all these things. Wow, you know, I, I push a button, there's me. It's, it's, like, some, it's like Star Trek. Beam me up, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, beat up, it's specific. I write songs for a living and while well, playing live, but um, that's been the one drum program that's really worked for me. Ease of use. Because I'm not a tech head. Yeah, I'm a guitar player and I play against you know, a keyboard and all that kind of stuff. But I, and I use software, but I'm not an advanced software user. So I want something that's easy to use. It's a great sound. BFD fulfills that role view. I mean, it's about anything else I've tried. I've tried a few. It's been just great. I am a new BFD2 user and excited to be. I, I, uh, uh, I, I'm also a songwriter and uh, so I like to. Uh, put together songs in my home studio and that's where BFD2 has come into play with me uh, because a lot of times I get inspiration from that drum groove or that feel that you get and I can't always have one of my friends or Mick or somebody there to come and play drums when I've got some chords so I, I bring up BFD2 in my uh, workstation and, and I've got just 
an array, an amazing array of drum grooves, fills, uh, just inspir you know, ideas and templates that are so easy uh, to just drag into, into, my, into my workstation to give me that groove and that beat to write to and, 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 and make the songs come alive. So it's very exciting to have, uh, it's like having a real drummer but without the attitude, you know? Keep going BFD too. Yay! <laughs> I've been using the DCAM stuff, it's been amazing, um, I love the synthesizers, uh, but what got me to this company in the first place was BFD, obviously, and then you guys put out BFD on Echo, Eco, but Eco is amazing, um, because it's like, you know, it works when you're on the road and stuff like that, it works easier than BFD too, too. My favorite thing, not to include all of those things, I'm going to go a little bit to, to the right, actually to the left. <laughs> to the left. The um, VST to RTAS, rapper, unwrapper. I love you guys for making that. I love that. That's my, yeah. I, I love it a lot because now, you know, with um, Pro Tools and all those goodies, I can use all the VST synths and all of those good yeah. things in Pro Tools now. So thank you for that great engineering feat. I use it on, I produce songs for the Black Eyed Peas, so on I'm a B, I use it on that. Uh, I'm working on stuff now with this artist named John West, I'll be using it on that. Uh, I'm sure Will I Am uses it all the time when I'm not in the studio playing myself. So um, we definitely use the product and the drums are amazing. Um, I've used the Synth Squad a lot uh, for some remixes I've done recently. Um, I did a remix for Natalia Kills. Um, and I, I've been tending to program uh, like thick bass sounds and leads, uh, usually in stroke. Um, so that's kind of the easiest one to figure out so far. Uh, but then I've been diving into Cypher quite a bit more lately, um, which I'm really starting to like because it definitely seems like the powerhouse of, of all of them. Um, but that one I definitely have to start with the preset and then start tweaking from there. Um, but I want to start starting from scratch with that one because it's crazy, but it kind of makes my mind explode a little bit. Decam Synth Squad have, it's awesome. I really love it. It's like the been using Cypher because it can do all the audio rate modulation and it's really incredible because it's not just like normal FM synthesis like DX7 style it's it just sounds yeah a lot more depth to it a lot more variety and then uh, BFD2 I've been exploring um, it's pretty incredible like the like realistic drum sounds you get from that so it's, that's all very exciting to me it's, yeah and like the manuals are written really well like for the Decam, like you can't say that about that much else, so that's very good.